Welcome to how to submit an application or access the village's e-plan review system. The village of Royal Palm Beach has made streamlining building permits and the planning development application approval process a priority for homeowners, contractors, and design professionals. Therefore, we are reducing the time it takes to obtain a building permit or zoning development approval. The key element here is the replacement of our old paper-based plan review process with a new electronic-based plan review system called Project Docs. Our new e-plan system allows for several cost and time-saving efficiencies, including online submittal of your building and planning applications, and not to include plans electronically from the convenience of your home or office 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This can now be submitted from your desktop computer or mobile device. Review of the plans are done by all professional and trade disciplines here at the Village. Review of markups are made directly on the plans to provide direction and clarity as to any items which require correction. Resubmittal of corrected plans are now done electronically from the convenience of your home or office. Real-time return of your approved stamp plans once the fees are paid online. This video provides general steps in the electronic application submittal and plan review process. It has been prepared as a general reference guide with instructions of the basic task necessary to complete a submittal and review using Project Docs. In order to submit for a permit or planning and zoning project online, you will first need to access the ePlan system called Project Docs. You can access Project Docs by typing in www.royalpalmbeach.com slash Project Docs. By typing in that URL into your preferred browser, this will take you directly to the OAS online application portal page. To gain access to Project Docs, you simply would launch the website and click on the create account button right here at the bottom, complete all the required information, and you will gain access. It's that easy. So we're going to go ahead and sign in with our username here, which is simply our email address. I'm going to go ahead and enter my email address here and my password. and this will take us directly to the portal page. So as you can see, I have a few projects that's been approved and I have one waiting in the review process. So I will scroll down here and we are at the type section. If I click on the drop down arrow next to type, I am going to, it gives us two options, building application or planning and zoning. We will select a building application. So it wants a name. We're gonna go ahead and give our application a name. I'm going to call this Raymond's uh, kitchen number three so I believe this is my third attempt at trying to build a kitchen so I will click on the start application process button and that will take us to the electronic application so now we are at the main screen building permit application and we are at a search method of address and if you click on the drop down that gives us a PCN option but we're gonna leave that at address because that's more user-friendly and I will scroll down here and we're at the address search option right now we're at the street number go ahead and enter in only your street number it's very important you enter in only the number no name so I will enter in my number and direction is not required we could skip that and street name very important that you enter in only the street name of your address no numbers so tab down the suffix if you have a suffix suffix enter that in suffix can be abbreviated go ahead and enter that in I will click on the lookup button and I will scroll down and this will return my address and anything else similar to my address so what you're gonna do is narrow down your address and your owner name which will have your name pre-populated and your parcel number if you know it so I believe I'm the first one I will go ahead and check that and scroll down and the system will pre-populate all my address my name and the parcel and if I scroll down, if I'm part of a subdivision, it will pre-populate that as well. So right now we're at application type. I'll click on the drop down arrow for type and I'm doing an outdoor kitchen. I believe it's inside of accessory structure. And now I'm going to select accessory structure type and I will look for my type. It's not a driveway. It's not a gazebo. I'm looking for outdoor kitchen. There's outdoor kitchen. I will select that and I have some additional questions to answer. 
proposed improvement location. Is this application related to a code enforcement case? It is not. I will select the no radio button. Does it have a companion or pool? I will select no. Has it had zoning approval? I don't think it's required zoning approval. I could be wrong, but I will select no. And right now we are at the applicant slash owner information. So very important, before we fill this out, I wanted to go over this at the bottom here. There's a question, is the applicant slash owner acting as the contractor? I'm gonna scroll down here. Right now it's defaulted to no. And what this means is, if I hired Smith's Contracting Service to build the outdoor kitchen for me, I would be required to enter in Smith's contractor information. Their tax number, their first and last name, their company email, phone, and lastly, their contact and their license number, being that, I am building this outdoor kitchen myself. I'm acting as my own contractor. Is the applicant slash owner acting as a contractor? Yes, I am. So what that does is it removes their additional contractor information field that I need to answer. So I will scroll back up and simply enter in my information, which I'm the owner. So enter in my first and last name and my address and the city. and the state and the zip phone number and lastly the email address i will scroll down here and right now we're at the project information it, the village would like to know how much this project is costing me it's a valuation i'm guessing it's costing five thousand dollars so i will enter that in is this a revision i will hit no and there's some additional acknowledgements I need to complete. I will go ahead and check all of the acknowledgements here. And that pre-populates my name and the signature date. Before I submit this, scroll up and make sure all of the fields here say complete. Everything looks like it says complete, complete, complete. So I will scroll back down and I will click on the submit request button. And what that does is it's going to submit my application and it gives me a thank you message and it's got my applicant name signature date and the project name raymond's kitchen three and project docs works as a task-based system you'll receive emails on what the next step is now we've just submitted our application and now we are just simply waiting on an email from project docs it takes about one to three minutes to receive the email so basically this is just a generic application number here so I'm gonna go ahead and launch my email here and I should be receiving some emails from Project Docs we'll give it another minute or two here And we just received our first email from Project Docs. The first email is basically an invitation email. Hello, Raymond Simelon, you've been invited to the project list below. Thank you for submitting BLD86. And it's got the generic application number. I will go ahead and close that. And the next email is an upload and submit task. Project Docs is a task-based system. You will receive emails on instructions on what you need to do. So here we are at upload and submit task assignment and it says attention Raymond welcome to the electronic plan review system and it has instructions for me at the bottom. Please review the following actions. So it tells me here to gain project access click on the link below. If I click on the project access link within the email this will take me directly to project docs inside of the application that I just submitted. So I'm going to go ahead and close my email here because we are done with this for right now. So right now we are inside of the ePlans portal page. So right now we have an upload and submit task and it's under the applicant group, which I'm the applicant. If I go ahead and click on this task, do you wanna accept this task? I will go ahead and click okay. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. And now we are at the eForm page, the upload and submit eForm. So right now it's got our generic project number, BLD86. It's got the project description, Raymond's Kitchen 3. And if I scroll down here, there's some task instructions. Please upload files into the appropriate folders below. Select the checkbox at the bottom once you have completed submittal of your files. So if I scroll down here, there's two options. There's a contractor, commercial, and there's a residence here. So 
obviously I'm a resident, I'm not the contractor. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the resident option here, accessory structure for my outdoor kitchen. If I click on that, what that does is this takes me to a URL on the village's website detailing the specific files I need to submit for this application. Based on the fact that I submitted an outdoor kitchen, they're telling me I need to submit all of this paperwork here. Notice the commencement, pervervious surface calculations form, landscape survey, owner builder affidavit, and all of these drawings here. Survey, floor plan, design plan. Okay, so all of this here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go back into our project docs tab over here and we have our folders here. Now, before I go into that here, I wanted to highlight something here. I'm gonna to go to my desktop here, and I have a folder called Outdoor Kitchen, and I'm gonna go ahead and open it here. And inside of here, I have an applicant user guide that I've downloaded from the Village's website. It has instructions on how I need to name my file. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this here, and I'm gonna quickly go to pages five, and six. So first of all, I wanted to show you there's a planning and zoning file naming convention. Let's just say if I was submitting a planning application, this is the naming standard that I need to submit my files in. If it's a site plan cover sheet, I would have to name it accordingly, SP001 plan cover dot PDF 1001002, etc. So I'm gonna scroll down the next page. We are submitting a building application. This is the building's standards that they want the files to be named. So I've already reviewed this and named my files accordingly. It's very important that you follow the naming standard and name your files accordingly based on if it's a planning application or building application. It's very important that you follow this or they will return your application. That will delay the process. So I've reviewed this. Go back into project docs here. And we're going to go ahead and start off on our drawings. So we click on that and we have a button here, select files to upload. I will go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to go ahead and maximize my window here. And I will click on the browse for files. And let's go to desktop and here's my outdoor kitchen. So let's move this over and we are starting on the drawings. So let's go ahead and click on the drawings folder. And here's all of my drawings. As you can see, I've already named them to the village's standard. I reviewed the the ePlan guide and here they are named accordingly. I will go ahead and select all of my files, click on the open button and that puts all my files in the queue. Next I will click on the upload files button and that's uploading all of my files. Okay, we started on drawings so it's uploading very fast here. Five drawings that I've uploaded. Okay, so it's uploaded my five drawings, so I'll go ahead and click the close button. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna click on the view folders. That will take me back to the main window here. And next we're gonna go to documents. I will click on the documents folder, select files to upload. I will go ahead and maximize this. It's very important that you always maximize the window when you're working in project docs. So you're not missing any hidden buttons. So we have the window maximized. We'll go ahead and click on browse for files. And we will go back to our main folder here and we now are starting on the documents. As you can see, all of my documents are named accordingly to the standards, survey, owner builder affidavit, notice of commencement, HOA acknowledgement. So I go ahead and highlight all of those and I will click on the open button. That puts it in a queue and I will upload my files. So go ahead and click close. And now I will once again click on view folders. And as you can see, I've uploaded my drawings and my documents. Now that I've uploaded all of that, I will click on the upload task complete. I've acknowledged that I've uploaded all the required drawings and documents. And I will click on the upload complete submit. And I'm getting a thank you for submitting your plans. You'll receive an email soon confirming your submission. Go ahead and close that and we will go ahead and launch our email again here here's the previous emails that i received and i just received another email from project docs and it says upload and submit task was completed attention raymond your files have been received now the village is acknowledging they received all 10 files and right now they are reviewing all of my files and my application if there's anything that I missed I didn't get notarized 
or forget to sign something, I will receive an email. So it's very important that you pay attention to your email on the next step. So with that said, that is how you submit an electronic application for a building permit or planning and zoning development application. Thank you.